Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2. Last time we created this basic face and body drawing that is common for all the avatars. If you haven't watched the part 1 of this video, click the link in the description below. So in this part of the video, we will be using this drawing to create different characters. So let's get started. Alright, so let's create our avatar. So what I'm gonna do now is select everything and I will press right click and duplicate. So let's take this duplicated drawing and start creating a, our first character. Let's make a girl. So I will select a rectangle and draw a rectangle like this. Make sure width of this rectangle is greater than the head and okay once you're once you're done with the rectangle make sure its stroke is equal to 4 pixels so i will select this rectangle and send it to the background what i'm gonna do next is i will select this node tool and click on this uh, circle and drag it down like this now I will press shift and control key on the keyboard and just scale it up about this much okay now what I'm gonna do is I will increase its height because I don't want this uh, curves at the end so what I'm gonna do is uh, increase its height and adjust the top corner first okay and once you are uh, once you get this shape where this curve and this curve uh, resemble each other what you can do is take this hair aside and draw another rectangle over it Then press shift key on the keyboard and select both the rectangles, go to path and click difference. So now we have this shape for hair and let's align it with respect to hair vertically. Okay, now what I'm gonna do next is I will just select the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse like this. I will press it over here and I will click on it again so you can see we have got this rotation uh, rotation tool so we will just rotate it like this and place it over here now what I'm gonna do is select this uh, background here and duplicate it now press shift key on the keyboard and select this ellipse go to path and click on the intersection and now finally what i'm gonna do is i will repeat the procedure this time i'll make a circle and place it over here and again i will select this uh, background here duplicate them select this circle and go to path and click on intersection now we'll send this uh, this part of the head to the top and finally i will add some eyebrows to this girl so i will select this rectangle draw rectangle smaller rectangle like this and Place one over here, select it, duplicate it, and place another over here. Next, we will give her earring. So, I will select this ellipse tool, press control key on the keyboard, and draw a perfect circle. Now, let's fill it with yellow color. Place one over here, then click. Uh, press ctrl D and duplicate it and place another over here 
hair colors i i'm i'm not going to lie i accidentally selected this red but i'm go uh, i'm actually liking it so i will keep it as it is and about her dress let's see let's make it orange for now yeah which is actually looking good now what's left is we have to fill this two areas so i will select this pocket tool and i will click in this area and click in this area now we can see we have to fill objects so and they have strokes so first i will select this one go to stroke and remove its stroke then i will press d on the keyboard to get the dropper and i will click on this skin color now I'll repeat this procedure for this object go to stroke paint remove the strokes press d key on the keyboard and get this skin color so i think i will leave her like this so let's move on to create another character so i will again select this drawing again and press duplicate let's bring it to the right and this time we will create a boy okay so we will start creating his hair so first go to the rectangle and create a nice rectangle like this so i will place it here and increase its width about this much and then send it to the background what i'm going to do is make it even more curvy so this much is enough okay now next what i'm going to do is i will start drawing so i will start from this point okay not this point and i will click here here and then i will just create a zigzag path with bezier tool and then finally i will just close this path to get this shape okay now i will press d on, d key on the keyboard and get this dropper and click on this color so we have red hair now don't worry we will be changing its color but in the end so now just proceed with drawing process so i will set its uh, stroke width to 4 and now what i'm going to do is uh, get my cursor here you can see our background hair are not visible so to select them i will get my cursor here and press control key and i will keep clicking here until i get uh, get that hair selected now you can see we have selected the background here so what i'm going to do is press ctrl d on the keyboard it will duplicate them so now i'm going to select keep it selected press shift key on the keyboard and select this shape go to path and click intersection okay now we are done with the hair of this boy so let's give his t-shirt some color for now i will just use a plain black so i will fill it with 80 percent gray and by the way you can see here these two corners are not sharp so what we can do is select the node tool and select this node and then click here which says make selected nodes corner okay now it's a corner so i'll just uh, drag it around like this until i get a sharp corner then i will repeat this procedure for this node make it sharp and and let's change the hair color so mm, how about this one 
yeah this is actually looking nice but it does not look good with this t-shirt so i will make this t-shirt white and let's try filling sleeves with different colors so okay we are done with this boy now let's proceed with another character so this time we'll make another girl so i'll select this one and duplicate okay now what i'm gonna do next is i will again repeat the same procedure i will create a rectangle give it strokes and make sure stroke are 4 pixels by the way there is one more corner which i just noticed i will come back to it later on so i will send this here to the background and repeat the same procedure which we used on previous drawings but this time uh, I will just increase its height so the lower end is visible like this okay and adjust this upper part okay Now again I will align it vertically with respect to face so go to align tab okay so now I will make her hair black so let's fill it with 90% gray okay now what I'm gonna do next is I will just select this uh, mouth and duplicate it and I will flip it over actually this pro, uh, this step wasn't unnecessary you could have created a rectangle but I'm just too lazy now so then I will give it 4 pixel strokes and duplicate this background hair and select this uh, semicircle go to path and intersection okay now I will fill it it fill it with 90% black okay now what I'm gonna do next is for some time I will send it to the background because I want to create a hairband for her so what I will do is create a rectangle that closely matches with her head's head so select the node tool and drag it down okay so it's almost a circle and that's fine Now what I'm going to do next is, let me first increase its height by the way. Now I will select this rectangle and duplicate it one more time to get another shape. Then I will drag it downward about this much. And then I will select both of these objects, go to path and click on the difference. Now we have this headband shape. So I can br uh, bring our hair back to top. So. Okay, now it's looking good and let's add some final touch by creating a small triangle like this 
now we'll select this triangle and then select this here part and go to path and click difference okay looking good now about her hair uh, dress I would make its neck a little bit wider so draw an ellipse like this align it vertically with respect to her body now we'll duplicate this body part and select this ellipse and go to path and click intersection okay what i'm gonna do next is send it to send it one layer down so we have this neck on the top now we we'll select this neck and then this uh, shape and go to path and click on the union now we have this one continuous shape and finally all we have to do is press d key on the keyboard to get the dropper and fill it with the skin tone okay now for her dress i will for now i will fill it with this yellow color and let's give it uh, give her a necklace so i'll draw a circle and stroke width set to 3 i guess even 2 is fine and i will reduce its size about this much and i will duplicate it few more times okay now it's looking good so let's proceed to next character now now let's create uh, another boy so i will select this drawing and duplicate it and bring it all the way to the right Okay, for this boy or man whatever I will give him a beard so first let's create a rectangle with rounded corners and then I'll just send it uh, to the back so that his mouth is on the top okay now let's give it a stroke width of 3 and I will make it I will reduce its uh, roundness about this much Okay, let's give it some different color so this one is good okay what I'm gonna do next is I'll just copy this rectangle I mean duplicate it and press shift and control key on the keyboard to increase its size and I'll repeat the procedure for the hair which we use for other characters so I will make stroke style 4 pixel stroke width and I will send it to the background and I will increase the rounded corners okay. 
next i will select the, his face and then hair and align them vertically about this hair let's give him simple hair like this much so i just drew a uh, ellipse so place it here and then what i'm going to do is select this hair in the background duplicate them then press shift key on the keyboard select this ellipse go to path and click intersection so i think this much hair are enough for him so let's proceed to his clothing so i'll just give him a shirt so copy let me copy this hair in this shape now press shift and control key on the keyboard and scale it down now i'll set its stroke width equal to 3 pixels and send it below the neck Then I will align it vertically with respect to our character's body. And then I will in reduce its height about this much. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is I will just duplicate this line and place it at the center then i will align it vertically then i will select the node tool and reduce its height so i'll press ctrl key on the keyboard and drag this node upwards now let's make some buttons for a shirt so i will make one button and fill it with black color and finally i will just give it i will also give this one a white color for now and his colors uh 20 gray so that's it for the today guys you can see today we created four different kinds of characters or avatars using this simple basic drawing now you can extend this process and create many avatars as many as you like now your imagination is the limit so hope you enjoyed this video and for more inkscape video please subscribe and also don't forget to check out other inkscape videos on my channel there are many of them so have a